Good morning. Um, this week, we're going to take a little break and go into charts and graphs in a second. But in the short run, let's look at last week's words and pictures, picture page assignments. Frankly, it was good that we got a little bit more practice. I think people have been online so much that you haven't really looked at print uh, pages too much. So it's good practice. Anyway, I'll get to that. And in the next video, we'll talk about charts and graphs this week's assignment and the upcoming uh, project. Okay, from the top, we have Angelo did, boom, boom, fine, fine job with, you know, pictures, the only thing is the way the copy jumps from here to here, it should be one block. Other than that, you did pretty good. Think of your copy really as another picture. Okay, now we have Chloe did a reverse, which makes it look like a web page. Uh, okay, we have dominant element, good pictures, captions. Uh, the only thing is the captions and the copy are the same font. So you don't know if you should be reading uh, the story from here over to here. Also, different widths between our elements, big gap here. This should be moved over. Remember, your um, outside um, space could be anything your inside spaces should all be the same. So we can maybe cut a little off of this picture and move it up uh, and make all of those spaces the same. But overall, you're all doing better. Very nice. Um, don't know uh, if I love the um, blush left palm, uh, type, I'm flush right, should be really flush left. Um, let's see. Yep, yep, did a good job. Uh, again, put your captions at the bottom, push your pictures up here, and don't worry about your white space being here. This could be anything. Your internal space needs to be even to pull that together but you're all doing better. Okay, we need, again, a little bit more space between our pictures and we need a headline and we need a caption. Okay, another one, we need a headline and captions. Okay, we have a headline. Uh, again, our internal spaces need to be the same. Line this picture up, leave our white space to the outside, and we need a different font for the captions because you don't know if the story goes here to here. You know, you don't know where the story is going. Uh, again, story should be in one block. Okay, there we have that. Very nice. There. Oh, again, can't tell if this is a caption or part of the story. Your story needs to be in one piece. Uh, caption needs to be under the picture. Uh, you did a good job putting it all together. Uh, this isn't Rainbow Lake. So what you know? So it looks like, hey, this is the headline. That's not Rainbow Lake though. So it's a little misleading. Okay, good layout, nice captions. All right, she did everything right. Eh, I put this caption underneath, but still really good job. Okay, here's Rainbow Falls. It's good lead picture. We need a headline. 
Okay, nice lead picture. Rainbow Lake. I would flush this type. Uh, I'd flush this type right so we don't have these jagged edges. Please try to avoid uh, centering. Nice layout though, all together. Okay, really the headline should go under the picture or really it needs to go near the copy. It needs to, the, the, this, the headline needs to be with the story. We have two different headlines here. We don't need it. This is what we call a, a flag kind of setting out there. Push this picture up to here. So everything is a unit. Again, uneven spaces here. Push this photo in. Again, don't need this big wide space. Leave your white space to the outside. Okay. Uh, no story. Just pictures. And it looks like they're all kind of thrown together. Uh, need uneven spaces, need to have our type in a block. Uh, all our spaces need to be the same and leave our, our white space to the outside. Okay, uh, where is the story go? Does the story start here or up here? Can't tell, because I have a byline here. So where does the story start? Here or there? Plus it's flush. This is kind of odd, needs to be flush left. I know this is complicated. Okay. Uh, flag up here. Push this down here. So our push the caption down here. So our story is a whole unit. Other than that, pretty good. Another really good one. Excellent. See, nice, even internal spaces. Uh, no, that's really good. I might flush this type right and leave the ragged part outside, but no, no, that's a really good one. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. The hike was really to Rainbow Lake, not Signal Point. I drove to Signal Point. Uh, centering doesn't work. Uh, Is there a story or we have captions? I don't know what these different things are. Your story needs to be one block of type. Okay, again, several of you really are making progress. Remember, everything needs a headline, stories need a headline and, every, and your stories need to be one block of type. Leave the white space to the outside and everything needs to be a, a unit unto itself and not just spread out separate elements. I know this is a lot. Anyway, still about half of you really got it. The other half, again, look at the video. To, <laughs> you can see the differences. All right, on to the next thing, charts and graphs. Do do.